What's going on guys? My name is Essence and welcome to my channel or if you're back then welcome back. We do fun things here and today I'm talking about the difference between Amazon Passion Twist and Name Brand Passion Twist. A lot of you guys know I have like a billion Passion Twist videos here on YouTube. If you don't know, I'm gonna leave the playlist down in the description and I'll leave a card right up here so that you guys can click on the playlist so that you can binge watch all of my Passion Twist videos. Through the journey of Passion Twisting, I've learned a couple things here and there. One thing that a lot of you guys commented on my like second ever Passion Twist video was that I was paying way too much for free trust water wave hair and that I should just go on Amazon and get it for like $30, get six packs for $30, get the same look. So I did. And so that's what my last video was about. It was about installing these Passion Twists that you see today. I actually plan to take them out on camera, do a full video, take it on my Passion Twist. And I cut them and I'm like, ooh. I like them, so I'm rocking them short for like another week. Do you like it? How do you feel about the short look? Um, where was I? So I installed this hair and I got it from Amazon. I wanted to see what all the hype was about. So I'm gonna leave the link down below from exactly where I got the hair from, which Amazon seller, I absolutely love the color. Like one thing I love, love, loved about this was I love the color. It's a Kind of like a, yeah, it's an ombre from like a dark brown to a light brown, but even the light brown is just, it's beautiful. And I love the color straight off the bat. So I must say that. So maybe you're someone who wants to do passion twists soon and you're someone who is debating if you should buy it from the store or if you should buy it on Amazon and if it's worth it. Keep on watching and we'll talk about the pros and cons of Amazon hair versus free chest water wave hair. Let's get into the pros of Amazon hair. So straight off the bat, a pro about buying hair from Amazon or an Amazon seller is the price. Like obviously, as I mentioned in my second Passion Twist video that I referred to, I bought the hair for, I bought the hair from the beauty supply store for like $9 a pack and I needed nine packs of hair. Do the math a lot of money okay so add on top of that if you're paying someone to do the hair for you you're gonna spend a lot of money on the hair so or on the style I should say so if you buy the hair off of Amazon you can easily spend you know depending on the seller you can easily spend 30 to 45 dollars for the same style which is half the price if not even less than half the price so that's the first pro so another pro to the Amazon hair is that you get at least from this Amazon seller is I got a lot of pieces in one pack of hair so it's one big pack of six small packs and so in one of the six packs you get 22 pieces of hair which means that you don't need a lot of packs to finish the style when I last did passion twist I used nine packs of hair so not only was it expensive but I needed more packs because I think the free dress hair only comes with like 11 or 12 pieces so if you have a lot of hair or if your hair is very dense and you need to use two or three pieces in one square you're gonna be using a lot of packs of hair so I love that one pack came with 22 pieces so I was totally fine using six packs of hair. Um, and for some of you, you may even need four or five, just depending on how dense your hair is. So that was a good thing. So now let's get into the cons of it. So the con with buying the hair from Amazon is number one, you don't really know the quality until you get it. So you're kind of just putting it out there. Maybe you watch a couple of videos on YouTube like this one and you're just looking at the person's hair and you're like, does it look as good in person as it does online? You don't really know. Whereas when you're in the store buying free tress hair or Lulu tress or some name brand hair, you can see it, you can feel it, you know, you can you can see it with your own eyes and see what the quality is and see what it looks like. Whereas from Amazon, you're kind of just going by faith. Another con is that the actual strands of hair are a little bit thin. They're nowhere as thick as the free dress hair that I used the first time. So you guys can see here, like this is a prime example of where my hair stops and where the twisting hair starts. Like you can clearly see there's like a lump right here and then the hair goes down. Um, find another one, here we go. A lump and then my hair goes down. Mind you, I did do this on a stretched hair. It wasn't like I was doing this on like you know, just straight out of the shower, air dried hair. I stretched my hair and so it was, it should have blended much better, but the, the strands of hair, they were just really, really thin. And so using two pieces of hair gave me a thinner passion twist than my two pieces of hair with free dress hair. So yeah, it came with 22 pieces, but the pieces were very thin. So I just felt like I prefer a more voluminous look. And I, felt, I find that this is more, more sleek, more sparse. Still nice, but just just a little a little more sparse. Another con is that it just doesn't last as long. I had this hair in, guys, for 
two weeks at less than two weeks. So I'm just gonna say two weeks for argument's sake. And my hair really looked like I had it in for one month. It was fuzzy, it was frizzing. I, I actually have the cut pieces here, so let me show you. So these here are the ends of what I just cut off from here. And I don't know if you guys can really see, but I don't know if you can really see, but it's really fuzzy. Like this is two weeks of hair. This is two weeks and it really looks like how my hair looked after a month and a half. It just did not last nearly as long as I would like it to. So here's another, here's another example. This is a cut piece that I just cut off. And it just really didn't last as long as I wanted it to guys. So as much as the hair was cheap and as much as the hair came with a lot of pieces in one pack, the quality just wasn't there for me and it was very thin and it didn't last as long. So for me, it kind of felt like I got what I paid for. Like to be really honest, you can spend like 30 to $40 and you can get the hair and you can get the style. But then after like one week, it just doesn't doesn't last as long. And I, I just, yeah. Yeah, I just feel like you get what you pay for, really, really true. But I do feel like if you have like type three hair, three B, three C, um, not anywhere into the forest, but if you have like type three hair, I think that this hair would work good for you because it's not a lot of hair, it's not very fluffy. You know, you don't need a lot of pieces in order to get a full look because your hair is already a little bit more straight. So, or your curl pattern is a little bit more loose. So I think if you have type three hair, then you can definitely pull off the Amazon hair blending into your hair and giving you that look, but I just don't think it will last as long. So guys, I hope that answers your questions. I hope that it, you know, it's helping you guys with your purchase. If you're wondering, should I go to the beauty supply store and buy name brand hair or should I just go to Amazon and get Amazon hair? There's really pros and cons with each. With the name brand hair, you're gonna get a longer wear, you're gonna get more quality, but it's gonna be more expensive and you're gonna need more packs to complete your style. But if you wanna go with the Amazon side, then you can definitely use less packs of hair and it will cost you less. But on the flip side, it's not gonna last as long and you're not gonna get the quality. So I put it in your hands. I'm leaving it to you, I'm putting it in your hands, I'm putting the ball in your court, and I'm asking you the question of the day. Do you prefer Amazon hair or store-bought name brand hair? Comment down below and let me know what your, your answer to the question of the day is. Maybe you're someone who just wants the style for a weekend or a quick week vacation week or something like that go for Amazon, but maybe if you're someone who wants, you know, a long lasting style, maybe a winter protective style or, you know, something like that, then maybe you should go for the free dress for the length of time. Or maybe you just don't have the cash, but you want the look, you can go with Amazon. It all depends on your situation and your circumstance. So yeah, guys, I, if I didn't already say, I cut, I plan to take this hair out, all out and just go back with my natural hair. And as I started cutting, I was like, oh, I like how it looks short. I really like this look. So this is how the hair looks short. I'll put in a picture of how it looks long. I actually really like it like this. So I might wear it for like another few days or a week like this. Um, but the ends are unraveling. Just, just a little note. Just because I know I'm taking them out soon anyway, it doesn't really bother me. But when I cut it, I did notice that they were like splitting. So of course, as I pick up the hair now, I can't find one piece that's splitting in half. Yeah, there we go. So like this is one piece and when I cut it, it unraveled a little bit, but I kind of like it because it kind of gives the ends a more full look. And I don't really think they're gonna unravel all the way to the top. I guess we'll see and when they do, I'll take them out. But just if you had questions on uh, the length of the hair, yeah, I pretty much just cut them in half, so yeah. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned, I hope you laughed, and I hope that you loved it. Comment down below your answer to the question of the day. Oh, and just to let you guys know, I am so sorry that my posting schedule has been up and down. If you're actually like paying attention to when or how often I post, then I love you. Um, but I have been a little bit inconsistent, guys, because I did move. You can see my setup is different too. Like I'm in a different place, different lighting, different room, all of that. Um, but I just want to let you know that I will be posting every single week, but it might be, the days might be a little bit off just because I'm getting back into the groove. You guys know how moving goes. So I'll be here every single week for you guys, but my posting days will get back on schedule soon. Hopefully I don't miss a week, but I am here and I haven't forgotten. I am here just going through a little transition right now. So guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.